Hi. How are ya? Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, one second, one second. There you are. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Wednesday already, can you believe it? Nope. I know. I'm gonna go grab my AirPods real quick, my ear things, right. and then um, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, what a gorgeous day. Yep. It is absolutely beautiful outside. Supposed to be Saturday, I think 80. I know, right? It's gorgeous. Yes. I almost took myself outside, I'm not gonna lie. But then I was like, well, the setup is kind of nice and cool in here too. Hello. Right. Oh, everybody's coming in. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Wednesday. We made it. Oh, let me see. Hey, Andrea, how are you? I'm good. Good, good to see you. I bought myself a foam roller. Yes, oh my gosh. I don't, are you like reading my mind? You're kind of freaking me out. I, I gotta get it, but hold on. Because I actually was gonna tell you guys like in the next few weeks, I'm gonna really be foam rolling a lot. So I wanted to give you guys a forewarning. That was kind of like one of the main things that Length and the Strength was about. And um, we've kind of gone away from it with not having a lot of foam rollers, but I was gonna encourage you if there was any way to. So my granddaughter made me pick this one out because it was so colorful. Can you do me a favor and tell me where did you get it from and like how much did it cost? This was, um, I just got it on Amazon and it was Great. $25. Okay. Cause I was gonna tell you, I saw a couple of TJ Maxx, like, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshall, I don't know, like, I don't know if I can say all those names here, or whatever, but <laughs> anyways, right those kind of, you know, those kind of stores, um, yeah. they have a lot of discounted ones. So if you guys, can you show them a foam roller? Will you put it up real quick? I have one too, but will you show yours? So it has little, little knobs on it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And it has all, yeah. So. Just for this and class, they, they, I do not they have, have a lot have of you guys. Say they, it again. They had cheaper ones, but my granddaughter liked the colors on this one. So <laughs> that's that's why I went with this. They had cheaper ones. Yeah. I was just going to those places too and on online, right? And also you guys will find sometimes those little um, knobbies. I'm going to show you this. Just because I feel like this is something we really need to do. Um, I just can't believe you're telling me you got one. Into. I was going to talk to everybody about it today for length and strength. And so I'm kind of weirded out, like in a good way. Um, all this kind of stuff, like the structure, I'm spotlighted to you, right? I'm bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this kind of stuff where you have like these little knobs or like this part is your palm. This is like fingertips. And these are like your, um, you know, fingers. And these are like your fingertips. You can buy a foam roller that's completely just like this flat, like no, this. Mine is flat. Yeah, that's fine. You do not, you don't have to have all this going on, just so everyone knows. So if you do have a foam roller, um, I'm not gonna not tell you the truth. We are gonna use it today. So if you can grab it, um, otherwise we will use, um, just we can with your, your fingertips, fingers and palm. So the same thing can be done um, and or any of those handheld like massage balls they have like uh if you guys have any of those or anything at home that kind of could do that kind of same motion if you guys got them for a gift or it kind of look around your house um it's just kind of to just break up the connective that tissue it's a fascia we want to kind of create well really you just like break it up it's a, it creates a better circulation um you feel lighter. We should be able to foam roll pretty much from head to toe. And in about 35 to 40, 45 minutes, um, your entire body will feel like a new body the next day. So it's 10 minutes goes a long way, but the longer you guys can do it, I really firmly believe in this. Um, and I want to bring it back a little bit to lengthen the strengthen. So I told you on Monday, 
Um, I was gonna kind of switch stuff up. So I'm gonna challenge you to look around your house. Like I said, if you have something like this or maybe look online, um, birthday's coming up, Christmas coming up, something. <laughs> Otherwise, um, again, your hands and fingers and knuckles can do all the work. It's just like getting a massage, but it's like self-massage, self-myofacial release. So you um, are doing pretty much like self-massage. So why, right, awesome. why do your thighs get tighter than any place else in your body? Because we no. did, we did fit and, class, fit and sit, sit and fit class yesterday. We did a lot of squats and my tops of my legs are sore, sore, sore today. One is a gigantic muscle. Right? It takes over, okay. okay? So it's a gigantic muscle if you're working. Number two is, I actually think majority, more parts of your body are that sore and tight. Maybe not sore, but tight, and you don't know it. Does that make sense? It is tight. Yes, but the tightness is probably all over your body, and it leads to other things that are tight. So it might not be your hip. It may not be like your thighs that are tight. They may feel sore from the work, but it might be like your hip flexors or hip complex. It can be up in your shoulder and lean from your shoulder all the way down to your hip, all the way down to your thigh, all the way down to a foot problem. You have to remember it's all in there, integrated. In, you know, it goes throughout the whole body. So that's why we do the whole body stretch. There's a point for that. All right. And it's a huge muscle group. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that. All right. Welcome, Donna. Thanks for coming to class. Thank you. Let's get started. You should be able to see me okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm spotlighted and you can hear me and I'm just making sure that nobody else is trying to join. So if you try to join, it'll make a little note to me. I'm gonna mute you all just because I have to. to look at. All right, come to the mat on the mat. We're just going to meet um, in a seated position. Cross leg. We're going to work a little bit on some spinal strength. And lengthening through the back. I just realized my water is on my counter. One second. Make it so long without my water. All right, so we're going to come into a seated position, please. If you can cross your legs, kind of relax your shoulders back and down. Chest is lifted. I want you to really concentrate on your spine. I want you to find your sit bones, so the bones right in the bottom. Kind of go side to side if you have to. Find those, make sure you have both those planted into the mat. Remember Wednesdays are a little bit more laid back, a little bit slower, a little bit different than Mondays on purpose. So take a nice inhale in and exhale. Find yourself in this moment where you are. You can take your hands to the side if you want. And some of your left hand on your heart. One more inhale in. And on that third inhale, you can open your eyes on the exhale. Welcome yourself into the right? Welcome Wednesday. I'm going to call it Welcome Wednesday. That's my favorite word for the day. So I want you to please take your hands, set them to the side. Right now, all I want us to do is think about setting ourselves up for success. So we want those sit bones in the ground. The hips are nice and open. We're releasing through the hips. So kind of just think, am I tightening up? Relax. You on a long, flat back for a really nice and solid spine. So you find yourself rounding, okay? We're kind of tipping back. Try to sit on those sit bones. It might be uncomfortable, that's okay. Good posture comes with work. Brace the core, shoulders are back and down. So are we not like this? Check yourself out in your camera. 
Use it as your friend. Your eye gaze is straight out ahead. You can be looking at me or looking through me. That's fine. You can just listen to my voice. We want to lengthen the spine by really putting pressure in those sit bones. Breathing here. Avoid arching that back. Stay here for a nice three full breaths, lengthening in the spine. So this should not be sometimes simple to do. Sitting still and tall is a move in itself. It is a very, very underrated move. Creating length in that spine, each vertebrae at a time, lifting. As you breathe through the nose and out the mouth, Bracing that core, the foundation from pretty much shoulders all the way like through the torso down to the hips. One more time, we stay right here. Now we're gonna start with just some really small circles. If you want to put the hands on the floor or leave them right there on the knees, we're going to start to just circle around and then we are going to kind of arch ourselves back to one side and then forward. We're going to come in a circular motion, bring the chest forward and then kind of rounding the shoulders, bring the chest forward, round the shoulders. A few more on this side. The big goal for today, this is a good goal, I think. See what you think. If you try to do the same ish on one side as you do on the other. So if we get to about nine or 10, let's focus on finishing two more here. Breathing. And when you're ready, stop in the center, come back the center and now we're going to go the other way so we're going to start that same move bringing the chest forward each time probably getting a little bit more space a little bit more warmth in the core sometimes we rush one side so we'll spend a lot of time on one side but not the other so i want you to challenge yourself because sometimes i'm in real time or maybe a second or two before or after lagging if you did 10 on that other side, can you do a full 10 here? Now can you start to bring your neck in line with spine. If you want, you can tuck your chin to chest. I right, have one more. And now we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle. So everybody finish their 10. Again, remember, I may be a little bit lag time to you. So whenever you're done with your 10, come to the center. Please do me a favor, bring your shoulders back and down. So make sure these shoulders and ears are not friends. There should be an enormous amount of space. And we're going to take the chin and we're going to tuck it to the chest. An amazing stretch to the spine. Each time you inhale on the exhale, let your head drop. If for nothing more than a stretch throughout that back, One more time. Slowly lift the head to center. We take our head and we're going to look to one side. We're not looking over the shoulder yet. Inhale in. And on the exhale. Travel through to the other side. You're going to try to do this together five times. So that's one, two. I'm let you guys be your own counters. We all do this at a different pace. But my goal. 
just to make sure we follow through with each side about the same amount of time. And your goal is to stay focused on yourself and this move today. When you're ready, meet me back in center. We're gonna take and try to get our ear towards our shoulder without lifting anything, okay? So we're gonna tip our head towards your right ear, towards your right shoulder without bringing anything up, okay? So there may be a huge amount of space, that's fine. You're gonna massively feel a stretch through here. A second level would be to bring this arm to the side and or to put the thumb towards the ceiling and bring it a little bit towards the back. That might have taken it up a couple notches. Please remember to breathe. Slowly bring your hand back down to the ground and slowly lift your head up to center. We're gonna go to the other side. Now look, I you want to do that. Allow your shoulders to back and down, then bring the head over without lifting that shoulder. I gaze towards the center in the front. Couple rounds of breath just right here. Lengthen through that neck. Think long, strong neck. Again, level one and level two. And then a little bit towards the back, taking that thumb facing the sky would be level three. And entirely, I guess, level four, you really wanted it. You would take this hand and lightly just let this hand just gently rest on your head. It's not pulling at all. It is not even really doing anything, but literally setting itself on your head. At any point, it gets to be too much. You can always set this hand down and still stay with this part. For three, two, slowly sit the hand down, release this hand, and bring your head to center. All right, so this should make it a little bit easier stretching that neck out. That length is gonna start, and now we're gonna try to take and go back to the side. Looking each way. Three more times. Remembering to breathe our way through each time. We're gonna go head to toe today. When you're ready, come back to center. And one more down. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and rise. Wonderful. All right. Do me a favor. We're going to take 25 to 30 seconds. And all I want you to do is take from your chin and you're going to use your fingertips. You're going to foam roll your face with your fingertips. And you're going to move all the way up to the jawline behind or in front of the ear, wherever that feels comfortable. You can come all the way up to your temple. You can take your fingertips across your forehead if that feels good. Making circles. Close your eyes. Allow your mouth and jaw to relax. I'm laughing. <laughs> That's creating all kinds of sinuses going on in my, you know that these are all like your sinus cavities. That's really good. So apparently this is working. <laughs> Don't ever knock, right? Little things like this. You know what happens when you start to go, if you did do it into your neck, let's come down here for just a few, few seconds. Let's do 15 seconds here. So look where I am. We're just gonna take and do a little bit of self massage right here. Side of the neck, taking my fingertips and just kind of making circular motions. 
slowly bring your head to center, coming to the other side. Remember, try not to concentra. I dare ya. I know what I'm doing it sometimes. I'm like, open your mouth, like allow yourself to have that center. Let's just relax. Wonderful. All right, meet me at the top. Wonderful. All right, hands lengthen. We're gonna use a foam roller in just a second for this. So right now, all I want us to do though is make a fist as hard as you can, squeezing everything in, bend those elbows slightly, and then I want us to five, four, three, two, release it out, shake it out. Again, five, four, as hard as you can, three, two, one, release. Take all those little muscles. You can even integrate between your fingers, create some warmth. Stay here with me for 10 seconds, rub your hands together, Just create some warmth in your hands. Kind of can draw um, animals in too. If you're an animal, don't be surprised if a cat or a dog kind come by. All right, one more time. As hard as you can, hold that fist. Three, two, and release it. All right, shake it out. However that is for you, again, like I said, you can kind of integrate your fingers into the other, make a space so they all start to move all those joints, bending, bending at the knuckles. Sounds silly, but this gets really tight, right? This is parts that are arthritic. I don't know about you guys, but I want you to try something. Take your hands like this, and I want you to watch me. I want us to claw, and I want us to try to bring our fingertips towards, okay, our palm, bending up. Yep, this finger of mine recently doesn't like to go all the way, okay? So I'm trying to work on that. Bring it in, and then release it, and then bring it in, Bending at those knuckles, you see that? And then release it. We need these hands, we need them to work. So we wanna lengthen and strengthen through our forearm and lengthen and strengthen through our fingers. Last one, and release. All right, grab that foam roller for this exact reason in front of us. All I want us to do is take, and we're gonna foam roll our forearm. So you're just gonna move yourself forward and back on the foam, um, foam roller. And for me, I'm gonna decide maybe today just to stay in one spot, just rolling forward and back, bracing my core, tipping forward from my hips. And or I might just kind of roll side to side. Also do one arm at a time. And then you can come on the inside of the forearm and the outside. Go to the other arm. And then if you want, you can even do the front. There's nothing wrong with doing the front. Avoid like your, um, the bone, right? This kind of bone right here, the joint. Avoid that, but you can do the front. I know for me, that's like a really tight muscle. Another way to get to this is you can take your fingertips. I want you to watch me. I do this a lot for like tennis elbow. This area right here, feel down in here, okay? You can take and really get into this with your fingertips. So like let your hand rest down here, relax. And you're gonna come all the way around, avoid that elbow joint. And then start to make circular motions down the tendon and then use your fingertips to slide up and down. And then watch, what if you kind of go in and out with the fingertips, like you're kneading bread. Thumbs up or a smile if you feel that. Do you feel that tendon? Do you feel the tightness there? Okay, what about circular motions? What if I have you go here? Relax your hand, relax your arm, and do little circular motions. 
that gets tight. That leads to this, that ache, throb. Do you ever have that before? In your elbow? This tendons need to be stretched out. More importantly, this myofascial, self-myofascial release, which is breaking up the fascia, okay, so form of that foam rolling, is allowing that connective tissue to be broken up. Ah, so, okay, you might find, go to your other arm. Let me try this on your other arm now. Can you try it on the other arm, that circular motion? So this is, the, this is my arm that bothers me. So even just that little slight bit of circular motion, And I'm talking like you're using a nice um, middle kind of like, not too much force, but don't be like just like gentle, gentle. Like you're kind of wanting to really get find that the muscle. You feel that, Andrea? Good. All right. That I want you to do, Mark, okay? Good. Are you doing a foam roller on that? I, feel, I think he is. All right, all right, so relax yourself a little bit. They should kind of feel a little bit better. Let's take it across our legs. We've been here a while. Bring those legs out in front. Point those toes for me. Now we're gonna flex, point and flex, point and flex, and point and flex. Lift those arms up, we're gonna do a seated forward fold. Please brace the core, sit through the sit bones, find your even point. Your feet can either be flexed or pointed or just at relaxed, whatever you want to do. Inhale, draw yourself up right through the center, right through the navel. You can tip forward from the hip, coming forward, coming forward, slight bend in the knee or a large mass of bend in the knee, and bring your chin to chest, rolling your head towards your knees. And we are going to stay here for 45 seconds in peace. Remembering to breathe. I would say to myself, inhale, peace, and exhale, whatever it is that doesn't make you feel at peace within yourself. So much easier said than done. We have 15 more seconds. Slowly in three, two, one, we're going to roll ourselves up. We're going to make the number four kind of across with bringing our leg up, leg is out. You're going to do me a favor. Okay, I'm going to show this kind of from the side. So you have your leg up here, right? If you look down, it's kind of like the number four, kind of envision this, okay? Your foot is up a little bit above your knee. And what I'm going to ask you to do is support yourself here and try to lift your knee up towards your face, bringing your foot, okay? I'm going to go on like more of an angle. You can see it, okay? You feel that big opening all of a sudden? Now watch, if I take my bottom from here and I scoot it forward and come closer, this is gonna be a bigger stretch. Do you feel that? Not if you feel that. Is that a yes? Okay. I'm gonna challenge you Try to keep your hands on the floor. And we're not even going to do anything else. You can tip yourself back a little bit if you brace your core and watch. Instead of doing this, watch me, watch me. My palms are facing forward. Watch. Just lift through the chest. Nice, strong posture. Eye gaze forward. We're not going anywhere. Try to rock side to side. And if you want to, this is another level that you do not have to do this. 
you can grab a hold underneath one arm, straighten out the leg, and you're gonna cradle a baby. Like you're holding your leg in your arm. So you would actually interlock your fingers and you're gonna cradle a baby side to side. So I want us to kind of explore here, wherever you are today, this is an amazing option. You do not have to be doing anything else. You can even just stay right where you were and cradle that leg there and watch what happens. If I lift my chest and pull myself towards, right, towards my legs, I'm already gonna feel a bigger stretch here, yes? Now, what if we added in breathing? I'm gonna challenge you to ask you, Loretta, is this area tight too? Yeah? From my lower back all the way down, it's tight. Okay, all right, good, so this will help. All right, so slowly lower the leg, bring that leg safely down. We're gonna extend that leg out. And when you're ready, you're gonna switch to the other leg, okay? Making that number four, right? So when you look down, I don't know if it's backwards, but it's kind of like the number four. Imagine this is your leg is part of it. I think you can see. And you can bring this leg up if that's possible. Now one side might be harder, don't forget. Right? We know that already. So you have to adjust. So you might need to sit your sit bones back. It doesn't always go right into the form. Like, don't get stuck in that. Okay? Palms are facing forward. Shoulders are under, I mean, uh, in line with hands. Our chest is lifted. We have our neck in line with spine. And our goal is to be able to grab here through let this leg drop and start to go side to side. And here's the thing, remember, if you're here and you just wanna let that leg rest, okay? And you wanna just bring your hands and clasp them through or even touch, and you just want to bring yourself forward, I really need you to watch this. If you're back here and you just bring your chest forward towards your shin, you will feel a massive stretch. This and this are majorly different if you're doing it correctly. So I've got to have your foot, listen, I've got to have your foot pretty much on your side. So if it's past, it's too far. It needs to come up onto your thigh, right above your knee, the foot, so that it can open all the way through the hip. You call this flossing, so you're gonna kind of go side to side. You can feel that bottom kind of flossing side to side, all those ah, little teeny tendons, muscles. Remember your glutes, that's another major, major muscle group. Everything connects. All right, we're gonna slowly let this leg down and release it out in front. Okay, Take, bring yourself into like a cobbler's pose, please. So you're gonna bring your feet together with your knees are wide to open up the hips. Let's sit like this for a few, good try for about two minutes if we can. So you need to find your sit bones. Keep your foam roller close. You can grab onto your toes, you can grab onto your ankles. You can push through if you want. We're gonna do things in 15 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna count and you're just gonna hold to wherever you are. So you can bring your legs up for three, two, one. Now go as deep as you can in, however you want to get the most extension. You have 10 seconds left. Three, two, one and shake it out. Bring them all the way in to your feet and kind of walk your feet out a little bit. Point and flex a little bit. 
get those ankle joints moving. Go back in, cobbler's pose, bring your knees close to your shoulders, shoulders are back and down, lift the chest up, and we drop and hold for 15 seconds. Squeezing through the upper back, shoulders back and down. For three, you got this, two, one, and release. If you wanna go in a little bit further, instead of cobbler's pose, you can bring your foot in close and then you can stack your other foot on top. We'll go more into a lotus for the same kind of stretch or stay in the cobbler's pose. Walk this foot out to meet with this knee area. And we are going to stay here for 15 seconds and make sure you're bracing the core and when you stay in this, I want you to see, can I really press my, this hip, okay? This hip bone way into the ground. Three, two, one, concentrate. In three, two, one, slowly lift this leg off safely, switch to the other side and or stay in one more cobbler pose. This will be the last time we're here Then we'll go to the foam roller. Bring this foot up, walk this foot out, find the space that is working for you. Again, we always say this when we're in this position, I'm way more flexible on one side than the other. The goal is to keep both sit bones on the ground, sitting up straight, Perfect posture, right? Zip up, shoulders back and down. And three, two, one, intention. In three, two, one. Slowly bring the leg up. Take those legs out in front, please. Shake them out. If you want, get a little sip of water. Find your foam roller. Keep it close. Grab it toward your feet. We're gonna do our calves first, okay? Can you see me okay with this foam roller? Some of you can see me fine. Can you see the foam roller, everything going on? Okay, all right, so do me a favor. The first thing we need to do is recognize what we do with the foam roller so you guys are doing this the right way. Again, I encourage you to get one with the length and the strength and especially on days or whatever length and the strength is. Walk yourself so you're in the middle of your calf. So whether you move your butt forward, the meaty part of your calf. So both sides of your calf are on just relaxing. Are your feet hanging over? Like, are they just hanging over to heels towards the ground? So you don't want this, okay? You need this, relax. Nothing's happening here, all right? The reason I say that is because we're gonna go to the calf. And what I wanna do is level one would be to just kind of roll back and forth. And notice my feet are staying towards the ground. Don't let this start to happen because that's just using your muscle groups. Relax. You're just trying to roll out. Yep, I love it. Mark has that foam roller. I have one of those upstairs. I almost think those are more nasty. They can hurt more. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get mine and show you. Forward and back. Level two is very simple. You can cross over and you do the same thing. Okay, you go back and forth. People feel this, right? Tell me you feel this, that you have little tight knots and your calves and you can feel this like doing something, yes? Okay, now like I have a spot right here. I can feel it. I even know I had a tightness there, okay? So Loretta, we're talking about tightness. Like my calf is super tight. 
So I'm going to stay on that spot. I'm going to let myself melt into this spot. If I want to, I can maybe go side to side, nice and nice and easy. And notice I'm not going to level three. What level three would be, would be what? I would lift myself off, pushing through my palms and lift my bottom up. The reason I'm not doing that is, this is intense as I need right now. We don't want to over foam roll. Typically we go forward and back to four and then we rainbow side. I like to think of it as a side rainbow or east to west for four. And then we kind of dig into like the letter U. So I like to think of it as a rainbow and then the letter U using the muscles to go in and out of the foam roller. All right, that would be one leg would be done unless you're doing two at a time. Then we would switch to the other leg I'm gonna cross over and I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is an active recovery. You're not just sitting here and this foam roller isn't just like magically moving, right? Okay, so we have to have our core brace, we have to have our shoulders back and down, we have to have ourselves ready to move. You might need to move your bottom forward. You might need to move yourself back. This is creating a cramp in my leg. Aren't you glad to know all my funny things that happen? So like doing this is now creating a cramp in my foot. It's all connected. Anybody having that happen? Where like if you feel a spot that's tight, all of a sudden like you'll feel something more in your foot or in your knee or in your hip. Think about what your body's doing. It's like, please, mine is saying, please stop doing this. It's too good for you. So again, I have a spot right there. So I'm going to roll side to side. And all that means, I'm just going to take the pressure and shift it from one side to the other. Again, knees go to one side and then knees go to the other side. Now, do you see that my foot here is trying to stay flex? That's because it hurts so much in a good way. It hurts so good. So I need to relax. I'm saying all these things to you guys because it is very easy to just start doing this and kind of not really think about it, but it does deserve thought. Stay on one muscle group for maybe a minute, no more than 90 seconds. That's all you need. And then we're gonna move to the next part. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this bottom part, so from the ankle joint to like the mid calf, so we roll out here, this area down here can get very tight. So I want you guys to try this. Cross your foot over, and all you're going to do is roll this little area here, okay? So I challenge you to find that spot, cross over, and can you possibly, if you don't have real, real bad wrist issues, you can stay down. Lift yourself up and let yourself just sit and feel that move right there, that little bit. And you want to go side to side. You should feel a tightness possibly in there. That's a lot of that plantar fasciitis. The swelling sometimes of our calves that starts to happen. Feet. Or you stay on the ground. Especially if you go watch this, more towards so instead of going out, coming in a little bit on it and rolling this out. So towards the center of your body with this foot. So see how my toes are out that way, like away from my body, turn them in. All right. Taking my breath away. All right, now let's try the other side. So again, it's just this little, this little, little part from like here to here, that's all we're doing. So again, I'm gonna try to go up on my hands for a second. And if you feel that tightness, it's gonna run from down here all the way up through the calf. Sometimes in foam rolling, we get our taken away, you might get a little red in the face. This is like getting a deep massage. So you should thank yourself, and it's free for you, 
give yourself a massage and you can do it every day. But guess what? Guess how much I do it all the time? Not as much as I should. You guys inspire me. Don't forget to breathe. And now let's do this. Take that from here all the way to below the knee. And all we're gonna do is roll forward and back. And please, if you can, at least try to get yourself up forward and back and or start walk it up. Like I said, it's active. Walk up right beneath and then you're just gonna kind of roll yourself back and then roll yourself forward. My bottom stays on the ground. Your calves are gonna feel amazing. You should feel like you are walking lighter when we are done. All right, we have two more here and then we're gonna to go to our thighs. <laughs> Loretta, hope you're ready. All right. Walk that out, get a sip of water. Please remember to hydrate. No different than when you have massage, it's super important. Again, remember you could spend like an hour a day doing this each part of your body. What I wanna do is show you from the front first. So take it, this foam roller is gonna go from right above the knee joint to right below the hip. I'm gonna show you from the front and then I'm gonna show you from the side. Stay up in a plank position, come down to like army crawl and you roll forward and back. Now I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see where I am. So I'm gonna take and place it right above the knee. I'm gonna put myself in a hover position with the other knee facing down. And you can lift both feet off the ground and or set the knee down. And you are gonna roll yourself forward and back and forward and back. You kind of have to crawl with it. So if you want to come up and then go all the way back, you can crawl, army crawl. Did you know you're gonna get this much of a core workout too? And if you find a spot that's really intense, I want you to stay there and I want you to watch. Please, please, please listen. I want you to stay in that spot, brace that core, push through like you're in a hover and lift your foot off the ground and watch what happens. Ah! You don't even have to roll. You can set the foot down, move up a little bit, and do the same thing. Lift, just lifting that foot will create a massive ah, change. Please don't forget to breathe. Lower the foot if that's all you can do right now. Please do not push it. You should know your body is your workout. I'm not in your house. I'm not with you training you directly. So you have to be able to pay attention to where you are today. Again, if you find a spot, Loretta particularly said, like she, that was a part that was bothering. If there's a spot that's specific, stay there and let gravity take over and let yourself melt into this foam roller. I gaze is towards the ground. Neck in line with spine, keep good form. You should feel like you're sweating sometimes. For five, four, three, two, and slowly, slowly bring that knee down to the ground. Walk your hands up and walk yourself back. And we're gonna go to the other side. So feet, knees are hip width apart. You start with that knee up on there. And again, like I said, you can come into a hover position with the knee would be like on the ground. You're more than just a hover. If you start to do this with your back, listen, if you start to hyperextend your back down or up, that's a problem. You want to be a nice strong hover and you just want to roll forward and back.
I love that Mark is doing the same thing with a hand roller. The same thing can be done. In fact, you guys can stay here. I, mine is like one second away from me. I'm gonna wait till we're out of an exercise though. Just stay here, I'm gonna wait till we're out of an exercise. Again, remember, you gotta walk yourself back if you need to get a little higher in that. And what was that level that you can do? Do you remember? Lift that foot off. If you find a spot and you don't want a foam roll, just lift the foot, brace the core, protect your knee by squeezing your glute. Nobody said this was easy. Let's stay here for about another 15 seconds. And slowly bring that knee down to ground, push the butt back, put the arms underneath the shoulders, walk yourself back and have a seat. Now, I want you guys to take a literally like a 10 second break, just sit there, get a sip of water, I'm gonna come back with my foam roller. Same kind of thing. I just want to show like what Mark is doing is the same kind of concept. He's going up and down with the same thing. This is another option. It's kind of almost like a rolling pin. I, I'm not going to advocate rolling pins to be used as some holders. Personally, I'd prefer you to buy or get something else. Um, again, they don't have to have this like knobby stuff, but this is the same concept. So when we were on our backs, I just want to show you he was here doing the same, ah, oh my gosh. I don't know what's worse. Lightly just kind of pressing see what, I'm not even having any kind of grip. And this is like taking my breath away totally. Wait till right now, Loretta, Donna, Andrea, Mark, you ready? I key band. I didn't want to get that started, but we're gonna. Let's see where we are with time. So can we can go to, oh my gosh. Can I show you how to do an IT band? If you're interested, you can stay. If not, you can go. I cannot believe how long foam rolling takes if we do it right. It's 12.50. If you want me to show an IT band, I can show it to you. Go ahead. Okay. If not, feel free, you can go. But if you want, let me show. I'm gonna move my mat, okay? So you guys can do this on your own try to do for at least uh like at least 30 seconds if you can make it that long i just want you to watch you're going to lay the leg the flat this leg goes straight the one closest to the ground okay it's like you're in a side hover you kind of are going to lift yourself up onto a foam roller and set it oh my gosh okay on the side of your thigh so this foot leg we'd be like in a side hover right I want you to cross over your foot so it's in the front. And you are going to take this hand, okay, and you're going to walk yourself. Uh, oh my gosh, you don't even really have to do anything for uh, IT band, just so you know. So your IT band is all the way up and down the side of your leg. This is another reason why your hips and thighs can get extremely tight. So this is like enough to the touch might bother you. But what you want to do is you're just trying to roll right above the knee. It's like hard to talk, it hurts so bad. I need to do this more often. And you don't even have to roll. You could just stay in a spot. The leg that's closest is on straight leg. This leg is bent in front. This hand is supporting you. And this shoulder is in a 90 degree angle, like you were in a side hover, so I could hold a plank, right? The only difference is, is this foot comes forward, okay? Uh -huh. To get out of it, you can roll yourself forward, sit up. The other side, talk me through it. What would I do? What leg needs to be closest to this? Your left leg. And is it straight or bent? Straight. And this is in a what? 
like a side hover. Put your, put your right egg over. Yes. Look at you teaching. Right? You and this arm, does, this, does this arm go here or here? Uh, over in front. In front, same as the leg, right? right? Mm -hmm. And you, this is level one leaning on the ground. What do you think level two is, guys? No, I, no idea. Lift your foot off the ground. Okay. Try not to cry. Level three is try not to cry. Okay. <laughs> that is your IT band. I dare you to do that 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds to about 90 seconds. Same thing with that foam roller. Got it. I'm here. Same thing. Except your draw was All the way down. And the slower you go in foam rolling, the better. It's like literally kneading dough to get through every single little part. Okay? okay. And then if you need a release, you kind of go a little bit faster. And then the more you want out of it, you go slower that both ways. Okay? Okay. All right. When you get out, I want you to walk around and see if you feel better. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's all the time. Because no. tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to do yoga and we're going to walk. And my not, okay. Done. So not if you start to do this. Okay. I'm going to call spade a spade. I need to start doing it. Every time I tell you that, I do it really well for like four days like anyone else. And then life takes over. All right. We need to pinky swear and figure out a way to leave these things in your bathroom or in your car, somewhere, this 10 minutes a day, every day, right. your calves, your forearms, your quads, your butt, you can sit on it, do your bottom, your root, your IT band, 10 to 15 minutes a day, that will get less and less. Okay. Okay? And I mean it. You have to do it. This one is hard. It's not like yours. Yeah. But it's they're different segments, so. But that's fine too. I have a hard one too. I have like four. Yeah, we I couldn't have so many, you, so. <laughs> I have so many we'll things, have right? I have so many things that like you can't even keep track of how many you have, and I never use half of them, right? Yeah. But don't we all? I think I think when I come on um, next Wednesday, I'm going to bring an entire. I'm just going to set out every single thing I have, and be like, so you have anything like this in your house, and a. Yeah, I do have that, or you'll be surprised. You might have gotten some for a birthday present. You don't, you forget what you have sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay. I hope that felt good. Yeah, very good. It wasn't very pretty, though. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, I'll leave you with this. When I was live on Wednesdays at 1030, I mean, in person, 1030 Wednesdays, like in Strengthen, we would foam roll almost the entire hour. I mean, that was the main thing we did. A couple stretches, a couple balance, let's say foam roll. That was the goal of the class. It was like, I told you before, it was wincing. It was, if I could take a picture, a snapshot, it would have been like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Every person. I would have people being like, this is the most boring thing I've ever done. And by the end, we're like, this is the most hardest thing I've ever done. Like, it went from like zero to a hundred. And by the time I had left, there was like 21 people sometimes on a Wednesday. Yeah. It is a hundred percent needed. It is underrated. It seems so simple. And if it's done in the right way and it's hard, so I'm not, like, not with you physically, but I'm hoping I can at least talk you through it as much as I can. All right. Good. Very good. Good. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Top, see you guys on Monday. Okay. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.